know, you know more than me about Islamophobic and, and Islam bashers. And the, of course we are suffering. And the statistics shows that uh, violence against uh, uh, Muslims in our society is increasing, not decreasing. And number of people who were asked to uh, to leave the plane, where after they sat down and everything, they have been asked to leave. Why? Because they, they don't know why. They just been told oh, security. So yes, we do have the the rate of unemployment is more among Muslims because many people now they are afraid and if they have uh, Hassan and George they say oh I take George why should I take Hassan maybe this man this Hassan is gonna blow up my place all right so people do look at us with suspicious and we are trying you know our, our best to make it clear that we are part of the society we are patriot more than anyone else and we participate in the civilization of our society same as any other so going off on my question before and i think this will be the last question where do we find a balance between being compassionate about what you're having to go through people that are just lumping you all together as being terrorists, um, where do we find a balance between being able to show compassion and sensitivity and also taking seriously if there is someone that identifies themselves as Muslim yeah. and then is talking about all these violent things? Well, it, what, what we did here in, in order to help this particular area, uh, we initiated Islam 101. We do education. We believe that the alternative is education. People need to learn about Islam and understand the Quran. People need to learn to distinguish between Islam as a religion and Muslims who are the followers. The followers can be decent, can be evil, but most of the followers of Islam are peaceful. Then there are uh, people, same as people of any other religion. There are people who are violent, there are people who are mean, who are drug dealers, who are drunk drivers. People need to understand, not every Muslim, it means this, man, this person is a decent person because he's a Muslim. And, and, and any person can be good, can be not good also. I think that that's, that's what I can say. So it sounds but, like I'm hearing from you that um, if someone is talking about violence, that that wouldn't fall in line with the Islam that you follow here. And so we should not be afraid to speak up just because they say that they're Muslim. If they're talking about doing violent things and hating other people, then we should be okay to speak up, correct? Of course, that's what we are doing. Like what we apply here, we apply zero tolerance for anyone who try to, to preach the wrong way of, of, of Islam. That thing is going on. Uh, uh, around the U.S., all Islamic centers now, we wake up, we are trying to cooperate with law enforcement agencies. We do not tolerate those who speak with the hatred lang language. We do not do that. So it, it's not like, oh, we are sitting watching and we're not doing anything. We are doing many things here. Okay. That's good that you pointed that out. Because I think some people wonder, like, what exactly is being done other than the, oh, well, we're sorry, you know. Well, uh, from the time I came here, I, I made an announcement and I sent it to churches, to whoever, that all my sermons are open for public. Mm -hmm. We don't have at the door someone standing asking people, are you Muslim, are you not? So uh, we, we made it clear to people that they can come they can hear us they can talk to me also they can talk to other members so we're not in hiding we are not hiding ourselves really we we are open and over 100 non-muslims every week we receive here they take tour we give them presentation we respond to their questions so this the educational part is going on successfully here with us but, you know, every time we take a break, someone ruins our peaceful atmosphere.